Welcome to Quick Particulars. This video delves into the activity of commercial fishing and its impact on marine ecosystem. Commercial fishing is the practice of catching fish and other aquatic organisms for sale or trade. It is a significant economic activity in many parts of the world and provides food and livelihoods for millions of people. However, it has also had a significant impact on marine ecosystems, leading to concerns about overfishing and the depletion of fish populations. The impacts of commercial fishing on the marine ecosystem are complex and varied, and they can be divided into several categories. 1. Overfishing. Overfishing occurs when fishing activities remove fish from the ocean faster than they can reproduce. This can lead to the depletion of fish populations and the collapse of entire ecosystems. Overfishing can also lead to the emergence of smaller and less desirable fish species, leading to a shift in the composition of marine communities. 2. Habitat Destruction Fishing activities can also lead to the destruction of important marine habitats, such as coral reefs and seagrass beds. This can have a devastating impact on the biodiversity of these ecosystems and can also impact other marine organisms that rely on these habitats for shelter and food. 3. Bycatch Bycatch refers to the unintended capture of non-target species, such as dolphins, sea turtles, and seabirds, in fishing nets and other gear. Bycatch can have a significant impact on the populations of these species and can also lead to the accidental killing of endangered or threatened species. 4. Pollution Fishing activities can also contribute to marine pollution through the release of oil, chemicals, and other pollutants. These pollutants can harm marine organisms and can also have a wider impact on marine ecosystems, including coral reefs and other sensitive habitats. 5. Climate change. Finally, commercial fishing can also contribute to climate change by releasing carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. This can have a significant impact on the oceans, including ocean acidification and warming, which can harm marine organisms and ecosystems. To mitigate the impacts of commercial fishing on the marine ecosystem, there are several management strategies that can be employed. These include 1. Fishing quotas. Fishing quotas are limits on the amount of fish that can be caught in a given area or over a given period. Quotas can help to prevent overfishing and can also help to maintain fish populations at sustainable levels. 2. Fishing gear restrictions. Fishing gear restrictions can be put in place to reduce the impact of fishing on marine habitats and non-target species. For example, the use of bottom trawling gear can be prohibited in sensitive areas to prevent habitat destruction. 3. Protected areas. Marine protected areas can be established to protect sensitive habitats and species. These areas can be off-limits to commercial fishing or can have restrictions on fishing activities to minimize the impact on the ecosystem. 4. Certification programs. Certification programs, such as the Marine Stewardship Council, can be used to encourage sustainable fishing practices and provide consumers with information about the sustainability of the fish they are buying. In conclusion, commercial fishing is a complex activity that has had a significant impact on the marine ecosystem. However, by employing sustainable fishing practices and management strategies, it is possible to mitigate these impacts and ensure that fishing remains a viable economic activity while preserving the health of marine ecosystems for future generations. Thanks for watching.